Hey guys, it's Peter from What's Up Blog. Uh, today I was trying to print some, well not print, but scan some documents using my uh, Canon Pixma MG7160 printer and I couldn't get the stupid thing to work. Uh, tried everything, Googled it, Google was next to useless, you know, they were telling me stuff like update printer drivers and I did that to get the latest printer drivers and that still wouldn't work. The printer was working fine on Wi-Fi, I can print no matter where I was in the home, but I just could not scan the document. So then I thought, well, if I connect this straight from the computer, my MacBook Pro, to the printer using USB, I uh, pushed the scan button, and then this thing would come up, which uh, was totally useless to me, so it still wasn't working. So I thought, you know, what's next? So I started thinking, maybe it's not the printer driver. So I went to the uh, Canon driver's uh, utility site, which um, I will link to in my post, and you can read that post by clicking on uh, the link just here. And uh, yeah, basically you just fill in the category, subcategory, and model number of the printer, did that. Then I, once you've done that, you just sort of uh, look down at the bottom, and you will notice there's uh, a click on the download latest drivers link, so I would click on that, and that would take me to all the drivers. At first, thinking that would take me to the drivers that I wanted, I thought, wow, here I go, but you'll notice that the first few ones are Linux, and of course, I'm looking for MacBook Pro, so that was no good. So I thought, whoopie do, what's Canon done to me now? So then I saw that column on the left, and that lists all your different drivers for the Canon ones. I looked for the latest operating system, which I thought was the Mac OS X V10.11. So I clicked on that. First thing at the top was a printer driver, which I've tried before, that was no good. So I scrolled down the page a little bit until I found the scan utility. So that's the one I thought would work, so I clicked on that. And that, uh, once I clicked on that, it downloaded the actual utility file that I needed. Oh, not quite yet. First gave me all the rigmarole. And then uh, you read all that if you wanted to. I didn't. And then you click on it. As you see, it downloaded the file. So I waited for that to download. And while I was doing that, you'll notice if I go down to applications, and your Canon folder, there's only two folders in there. So once I download the scanner utility, if you double click on that file, brings up a little box thing, double click on that, and that will install the scanner utility for the Canon printer that I was looking for. If we just go through all the rigmarole to make sure uh, that you need to do to uh, load it into your computer. Then once all that's done, I'll go back to the applications folder. So here we go, Canon one, and you'll notice there's another folder there now. And we open up the scan folder, double click, and that brings up all your little scanning tools. And I want the scan one. Checked out the settings first, thought, yeah, well, that's not good to me. So then I clicked on the, once I checked it was the right printer, I clicked on the documents icon. And then once I click on the documents icon, it actually started scanning the, um, the document. And that was while I was in another room. So I was pretty thrilled with that. It looks like it was all working. So I waited for that to, uh, to scan. And uh, it wasn't too long after that that the document finished scanning. And I didn't want to scan any other ones, so I just told it to quit that. So I exited, and then it brought out the document. All good was fine. So I hope that helps you out, guys, as it did Mill. And I can't, as it did me, and I can't see why it wouldn't work in any other. Canon printer. It's Peter from What's Up Blog and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you around next time.
Catch you later, guys.